What is up, YouTubers? No, doesn't work for me, does it? Guys, following up from the E90 oil cooler thing, which I haven't posted yet, um, uh, I will post it. So it was about changing the upper top hose housing and, you know, making an effort like I am now to actually stand up. <laughs> making an effort to do the job properly on the oil coolers. So in the earlier video, I was talking about the top um, outlet on the cylinder head, this one. And I might as well just show it to you guys again. So you can swing this thing out of the way. Sorry, guys. See how it's eaten up inside? So this was going to go next, but... You can swing it out of the way, leave the manifold in place and swing it back and just do this back gasket on the cooler. But now we have confirmation of the leaks. So once we pull it apart and we see things like that, we know that that, that was leaking and we can see here the stains of it leaking. So this car came in from another workshop and I've never seen it before, and they said it's got coolant leak and an oil leak. Now, the oil leak had, had sort of, it's been cleaned up now, but it wasn't that bad, it's just started. So, obviously, once you get a really bad oil leak, it's gonna be easier to diagnose. But go ahead and either replace the entire unit in Europe, I don't know how it comes in Europe, or in Australia, you've gotta get the genuine seals at the moment, there's no um, other way but to get BMW stuff. Um, in my, in my, with, with my suppliers. So we don't go and start buying online and all that stuff, but this is all genuine seals and it's quite expensive. So for a top hose, the water outlet and B seals, it's $500 um, of parts. So they, they do add up. This one's 50 something and these are all, you know, 76, 76, 40, 40, it all adds up. Um, but definitely just do the whole job. I know there's people that <clears throat> just do do this back one, but as you can see, there's there's more than one leak going on here. So they all sort of, um, where you know, shrink with the hot cold cycles at the same time. And that's my advice: is to remove the intake manifold and do the job properly. Definitely. Okay. Hope that helps, bye.